I am Kamigawa Yoko, the Minister of Justice of Japan. In March next year, the 14th United Nations Congress on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice, the Kyoto Congress, will be held at the Kyoto International Conference Center. The UN Crime Congress is the largest UN conference in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice, which take place every five years. This is the second time for Japan to host the UN Crime Congress since the fourth Congress, also held in Kyoto in 1970, about 50 years ago. The overall theme of the Kyoto Congress is advancing crime prevention, criminal justice, and the rule of law towards the achievement of the 2030 Agenda SDGs. The SDGs are our commitment to change the world. When I first served as Minister of Justice, I have decided to host the Kyoto Congress. This was to get momentum for Japan and the world to realize a just and rule-based society where the rule of law permeates. To achieve such goal, I have been promoting justice affairs diplomacy, Chiho Gaiko, over the past five years. Waving the flag of Kyoto Congress high and marking 2020 as a stepping stone. I regret to say the Kyoto Congress was postponed for about a year due to the COVID-19. However, I strongly believe that the Kyoto Congress has reinforced its importance in this difficult situation. While the COVID-19 pandemic is jeopardizing vulnerable people, we must ask ourselves whether we are turning our eyes upon such reality. Aren't we caught up in our affairs? Now is a critical juncture to step forward to realize a society of no one left behind enshrined in the SDGs. In the Kyoto Congress, we will have an in-depth discussion on the role of criminal justice with a view to realizing a just and rule-based society where the rule of law permeates and to achieve the SDGs. A week before the Kyoto Congress, Youth Forum will be held. The overall theme of the Youth Forum is youth engagement for our skewed society towards achieving the SDGs. It is the youth who is the main actor in and after 2030. They have visions that is unique and out of the books. I believe it is the youth who is the torch bearers towards a society where no one will be left behind. So let's listen to the voices of the youth and together work towards achieving the SDGs. The Youth Forum will be very timely to embark on the decade of action to accelerate actions towards the SDGs. As a Justice Minister of the host country, I will spare no effort to make the Kyoto Congress and the Youth Forum a big success. I look forward to seeing you at the Kyoto Congress.